In this video, I will show you how you can get Ubuntu Pro for free. Ubuntu Pro is free to use for up to 5 machines and in this video we will activate it. But before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. By using Ubuntu Pro you get all the security updates much sooner than with your regular Ubuntu and they claim here that the average common vulnerability exposure is reduced from 98 days to only one single day. So how I understand this is once the vulnerability is publicly addressed and the fix is made available, the Linux distributions need to package this update, basically update packages, and then distribute to their clients. The clients are we, the users, and with Ubuntu Pro you get the update on average in one day. And you get this for 10 years, basically for all the packages that they are packaging, which are more than 25,000 packages, Repackaging them in one day seems like a lot of work and I can imagine that this usually takes about 3 months. Of course they usually don't need to update all the packages but if a catastrophe happens maybe they'll need to. In addition you also get advanced hardening features which are more relevant for servers. You get kernel life patch which means that once the patches are applied to the kernel usually you would need to reboot your machine but in this case you don't need to, everything happens on the fly. In my opinion this is a must have for every server out there. Then you get a second real time kernel which brings Ubuntu one big step closer to being a real time system. If you are experimenting with real time systems then with Ubuntu Pro you get a real time kernel out of the box and you can use Ubuntu as a real time platform. In the coming videos we will see how this one actually works so if you are interested subscribe to the channel. And last but not least you get Landscape which is a tool for system administration and server instance management. I know a lot of Linux enthusiasts don't like Ubuntu because of the unpopular choices that Canonical makes, the parent company that maintains Ubuntu. In my opinion when it comes to security and stability Ubuntu Pro is the best that you can get in the whole Linux world for free, period. Now without further ado let's see how to get this one. Down here click on the tutorial link. And now let's see what we need to do. First we need to update the system, so let's open the terminal. I will move this one to the left and this to the right. If you are interested how to snap windows like this, I made a video about it and you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Currently I'm using Ubuntu 22.04, this is an LTS release and you will need to use LTS2. So first let's update the system, let's copy this command and paste. Perfect, we are up to date. Now let's copy this command and paste, execute. Ubuntu Pro we can activate with the Pro Tool and here we are checking the Pro Tool version. 27.14 is newer than 27.13 so this seems okay. Then let's go to the next step. Here let's execute Pro Security Status, paste it here, execute. Now here you can see how many packages are installed on your system and from which sources. It also says that we are currently not using Ubuntu Pro and if we would use Ubuntu Pro then we would get the newest security updates for the main slash restricted packages and also for universe slash multiverse packages until 2032. It also says that you can get a free personal subscription for Ubuntu Pro on up to 5 machines. So this is what I mentioned previously. Alright, now this was just information, let's go to the next step. First we need to create an Ubuntu One account. So let's create one. This is the form that you need to fill out. I already did that, just create an Ubuntu One account, it's free. Then next, you will get a confirmation email, it will look somehow like this. Just click on the link in the email to confirm your email address. And after that log in into your Ubuntu One account. Once you're logged in, Navigate to Ubuntu Pro dashboard and there you should get a page like this with your subscriptions. I will do it as well. So you should see something like this in your dashboard. As you can see I have one personal token which is free and expires never. And down here you can also see your token. And now to activate Ubuntu Pro on your machine just copy this command down here. Copy and paste it into the terminal. Execute. 
All right, we activated the pro subscription. Let's see the next step. So we executed this command and we also got this output. I will make it a bit bigger. Here you get a quick summary what we currently have. And right now we only get the security updates. For the live patch feature we have a warning and down here we can see why. The kernel that I'm using right now does not support live patching. Down here you have the link to the supported kernels. Let's check this one out. Open link. For Ubuntu 22.04 only the kernel 5.15 supports live patching. So if I would want to use this feature then I would need to use the kernel 5.15. If you're interested how to switch kernels on Ubuntu, I made a video about it and you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And then we can see that the real-time kernel is currently disabled and the security compliance tools as well. So with this you're actually good to go, Ubuntu Pro is now active on your machine. Now just to demonstrate, if you want to enable the real-time kernel for instance, then down here you can see the command, Pro enable and the service. So let's try this one out. Pro enable real-time kernel and just to be sure I will execute this one as sudo execute disable live patch and enable real-time kernel yes enter the real-time kernel will be my default kernel but that's okay continue perfect let's check the status pro status and yes real-time kernel is enabled in the next video we will see how this real-time kernel performs so if you're interested, the link to the video should be up there. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.